Okay, day 46. Today we're getting into cycling gear or tech. Uh, one of the two. Figured with all this lycra and middle-aged men in lycra looking fast and waxed legs and everything else. Well, now I gotta be seen a little bit more on the bike so I don't get hit by a car. Yeah. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I wanna hear from you guys. Did you like this video? Let me know below. Okay, next I'm gonna show you some lights. So, uh, recent studies shows that if you have lights on your bike, you're less likely to get hit. Uh, what they're working on now is actually daytime running lights. So that's the research that they've been doing is that even in the daytime, lights make sense. So uh, Bontrager has come out with a line of daytime running lights. So what they've been working on is making them small, lightweight, so it's going to go nicely with your nice light road bike. Um, so something like here, like a flare. So good and bright, but also is not super heavy. So it's uh, easy to, to stick on your bike. Now, uh, a light like this is going to light you up really well. Next door, you see this one here is blindingly light. Uh, I saw a rider on the road, probably about three kilometers away from me, and clear as day, I could see the flash pattern I have of that this one. light. It's super, super bright. So for the front lights, you can do the same thing with a small one that's lighter and more compact. So again, if you've got this nice fancy road bike, you don't have to add a lot of weight to it and you can still be seen. If you want to get into something that you can start seeing with, you're going to need more lumens. So lumens are the brightness of the light. This is 100 lumens. You can move up to one that's 450 lumens, so quite a bit brighter. This is when you actually start lighting the road at night and you're, you're able to see where you're going. And then you get up into the 1300 lumens, 1000 lumen lights. So lights like this are actually gonna make it almost like daytime for you. Uh, in the winter time, what I'll do is I'll run two lights on the back. I'll run one up high and one low, just attract, attracting the, uh, the, the driver's attention. And then I'll run two on the front. So by law, it says you have to have a constant beam. So I'll run one constant beam, but I'll also run one flashing. The flashing light, I feel, attracts the attention of the drivers much better. So one constant, one flashing. So two on the front, two on the back. As the nights get longer in the wintertime, I usually even get more lights. So by the end of the wintertime, I'll have four lights on the back of my bike. I figure you can't have too many lights because you can't be too visible. Okay, so Trek and Bontrager have been working on uh, a new program. They call it ABC of Being Seen. So it's always on, so lights on during the day. Biomotion, so anything that's moving on your bike, and then contrasting colors. So that's when you see the high-vis jackets and high-vis helmets. So all that stuff is just making you so much more visible to the drivers and makes you much safer on the road. I don't think that's such a bad thing. Okay, next we're gonna look at computers. Um, so computers, are very specific to what you're going to be doing and how you're going to be using them. Some will give you way more information than you need. Um, some won't give you enough information. Um, so you can start with kind of the basic computer that's about uh, $60 thereabouts. Um, most of the computers now are wireless. They're much more reliable. You don't have to deal with all the wires on your bike. So a $65 computer will get you a wireless one that will give you all the basic functions. So it'll give you your speed, your average speed, your max speed, trip distance, length of time you've been riding, the odometer, all your basic functions. So then stepping up from that, you can get into something that will give you cadence. Cadence will count the revolutions of your pedaling. So cadence is a great thing to know. It keeps you on top of your gear. So cadence, then also there will be ones that will have an optional heart rate monitor that you can add to it. And then also you will have one that will give you an optional power. So if you have a power meter, meter, it will show you how much power you're putting up. So beyond that, you get into the Garmin's and you get into the Wahoo's, which are your GPS computers. So the easiest way to think about these ones is there are Garmin computers that will tell you where you went. And then there are Garmin computers that will tell you where to go. Okay. 
So you can get into something like the 530 or the 520, which is going to be a downloadable computer. So it will show you your route and it can upload to Strava and those types of, of sites. Um, it's not going to really tell you where to go. You can pre-program rides into it, but it's not a real time. So with something like the 1030 here, what that does is that actually is a real time GPS like in your car. So it gives you all those other features that we talked about. So um, it will tell you your distance and how fast you've gone and all that stuff and put it into nice graphs, but it'll also actually tell you where to go. So you want to pick a computer based on how you're going to use it. Um, for me, I ride a more basic one because I'm not diligent enough to charge it. Um, these ones run off of a watch style battery, so they last for a long time. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, I usually know where I'm going. If you go away, I've used these uh, on trips and that, and these are great because then you can preload routes that other people have, have gone and done. And that way, when you go to a, a new place, you can just hit go on the computer and it tells you exactly where to go and you don't spend time trying to find the rides. So you want to pick a computer based on what's going to be the best for you. Once you get beyond that basic one, it'll give you the functions of power options and cadence options and that. So it's just beyond that, figuring out how much you're going to use it and what you're going to be doing with it. The Strava thing is great. Strava keeps you honest and it also gives you a, a yardstick of, of, of how you're doing. So you can compete against yourself and you can push yourself a bit more. So quite a useful tool for newer cyclists because they know exactly where they need to be and, and how to be pushing themselves. So, I mean, this one, you won't get lost. So this one, you might, it's up to you.